Hello students, in this video we are going to see about discrete Fourier transform. Before that, what is Fourier transform and uh, why we uh, use Fourier transform and what are the other transforms uh, um, exist and what is a DFT and IDFT pair and example problems of uh, DFT and IDFT. What is Fourier transform? Um, as we all know, a Fourier transform is a mathematical formula, uh, the, which formula relates the uh, time domain to frequency domain. In simple, uh, the Fourier transform relates the signal sampled in time to the same signal sampled in frequency. The Fourier transform uh, uh, evolves the frequency content of the signal. In uh, signal processing, the Fourier transform can re reveal the important characteristics of the signal, uh, namely frequency components uh, like that. And here it is, a Fourier transform is uh, uh, this uh, uh, type of signal. Uh, this Fourier transform is applicable for both periodic and aperiodic signal. But Fourier series is only applicable for periodic signal so that we can um, come into the Fourier transform for analyzing periodic as well as aperiodic signal. This uh, signal is a continuous and aperiodic signal. And here is the uh, Fourier series which is continuous and periodic. As we all uh, uh, learn about uh, prior uh, thing, now, the Fourier series is applicable for only periodic signal and the Fourier transform is uh, used to analyze both periodic as well as aperiodic continuous signal. And here it is a discrete time Fourier uh, transform. Uh, here it is a discrete type of aperiodic signal. And this one is a discrete periodic signal. So this Fourier transform is mainly uh, used to uh, relate the time domain signal sampled to the frequency domain uh, sampled signal. Okay. What is the need of uh, Fourier transform? As we all know, to analyze periodic as well as aperiodic signal. Um, to analyze the signal, we can use a, a periodic, uh, uh, sorry, uh, we are, uh, to go for uh, analysis the periodic signal, uh, we go for a Fourier series. Uh, for both periodic and aperiodic analysis, uh, we must choose Fourier transform. Then this Fourier transform is used to decompose an image into sine and cosine components, which is nothing but e power j omega, uh, which is uh, namely as frequency components. The other type of transform is first one is Laplace transform and second one is EZ transform. The Laplace transform is uh, used for analysis continuous time signal and also designed for a particular circuit or a system to uh, process that uh, continuous time signal. So Laplace form transform is uh, used not only for analysis but also for uh, design a circuit or system for using uh, analysis the uh, continuous time signal and designing a system um, used for the continuous time signal. And next transform is EZ transform. Like Laplace transform, the EZ transform is used to analyze and design a discrete time signal and also a circuit or a de, um, system designed for a, uh, process the discrete time signal. Okay. Then what is discrete Fourier transform? In the previous side, we learn about Fourier transform. And here it is uh, what is meant by discrete Fourier transform. This discrete Fourier transform is only for discrete um, periodic or aperiodic signal. Here we use equally spaced sample, which is nothing but periodic uh, uh, samples. And uh, um, where the samples are uh, finite, uh, samples have the finite value means we can uh, use this uh, uh, discrete Fourier transform. Okay, uh, this is the formula for uh, DFT, capital X of K, which is a uh, discrete Fourier transform uh, samples of frequency components. And here it is uh, summation N is equal to 0 to capital N minus 1, uh, small x of N. This small x of N is the discrete signal without uh, applying um, uh, DFT. Okay, and e, e, this is the given uh, sample for doing this DFT. And E power minus J 2 pi Kn divided by capital N. This uh, E power uh, uh, term is uh, nothing but middle factor or phase factor. And this phase factor is uh, uh, known as the frequency component that revealed by the Fourier transform. Here uh, capital N is uh, present. This N is the number of sample in X of N, which is nothing but discrete um, signal. 
and next one is inverse discrete fourier transform both dft and idft are considered as a pair of dft okay this inverse fourier transform is uh, used to convert a signal in the frequency domain to the uh, time domain uh, here uh, the dft is used in the uh, adc which is uh, analog to digital converter and idft is used in the um, dac uh, digital to analog converter okay uh, this uh, dft and idft is known as uh, I DFT pair. Here X of N in DFT digit discrete Fourier transform X of N is converted into capital X of K. But here capital X of K is converted into small X of N. Both DFT and uh, its inverse is known as DFT pair. Here is the DFT exercise problem. In this uh, uh, small X of N, which is nothing but discrete signal with samples uh, 0, 2, 4, 6. These are the values of the sample and the position of the sample is nothing but small n. Here the position of the sample n is equal to 0. Here the position of the sample n is equal to 1. This is the position of the sample n is equal to 2 and for this n is equal to 3. So, we have to write a solution by given data and formula and then the steps. First one, we have to derive the given data from the question itself. First one is x of n which is given in the problem and x of 0, small x of 0 is equal to first um, sample. Small x of 1 is equal to second sample. Small x of 3 is equal to fourth sample and small x of 3 is equal to sixth sample. Here, the total number of sample is nothing but capital N. Here, uh, totally four samples are there. So, capital N is equal to 4. This is the formula for DFT, discrete Fourier transform and we have to apply one by one. First one, uh, in this formula, we have the K value from 0 to N minus 1. So, in this problem, we have N is equal to 4. So, K is equal to 0, 1, 2 and 3. First, we have to substitute K is equal to 0 and here in this uh, above uh, formula, we have to substitute the K value. Um, here, X, is X of capital X of 0 and summation Z, n is equal to 0 to n minus 1. Here substitute n is capital N is 4. So, 4 minus 1 is equal to 3. At the same x of n and e power minus j 2 pi small n. In the place of k, we have to substitute 0. In the place of capital N, we have to substitute 4. After that, the e power, uh, the whole term will be 0 because of multiplication of 0. e power 0 is equal to into 1. Okay, here uh, we have to expand the summation. Uh, for summation, we have to use the plus symbol in between um, both x of n. So, first we have to substitute small n is equal to 0, x of 0. Uh, so for a summation symbol, we have to put plus and then x of 1 plus x of 2 plus x of 3. Uh, we already have um, derived the values from the given um, problem x of 0, x of 1, x of 2, x of 3 and substitute the values in this places so that we have we can get 12 for capital x of 0 like that we have to um, substitute k is equal to 1 in the above formula so summation capital x of 1 is equal to summation 0 to 3 the remaining part uh, is uh, applicably same and then uh, in the space of k we have to substitute 1 and then in the space of um, capital n uh, we have to uh, substitute 4 so, we can finally get a substitute, uh, summation of n is equal to 0 to 3 x of n e power minus j pi by pi n by 2 because uh, 2 divided by 4 is nothing but 1 divided by 2. Here, um, the summation is expanded. Uh, for uh, n, we have to substitute 0, 1, 2 and 3 and we have to add the um, expressions. So, this is the expansion and in this e power minus j theta. Formula for e power minus j theta is cos theta minus j sin theta. So, substitute this expansion in the above equation. So, x of uh, e power 0 is 1, x of 0 is 0. So, we have to substitute 0 plus 2 into um, e power minus j pi by 2. So, in, in the place of e power minus j uh, pi by 2, we have to substitute cos pi by 2 minus j sin pi by 2. Likewise, we have to substitute for other uh, exponential uh, terms also. And then we can use the calculator, scientific calculator in radian mode to calculate the values of cos pi by 2, sin pi by 2, cos pi, sin pi and cos 3 pi by 2 and sin 3 pi by 2. Substitute the values in the um, 
respective places and uh, simplify it finally we can get 4j minus 4 likewise we have to substitute for uh, k is equal to 2 and then k is equal to 3 finally we can we have to um, write like uh, x of n which is um, before the dft and after dft we can get capital x of k which is uh, equal to curly braces 12 comma 4j minus 4 uh, this one is for capital uh, x of 1 and this value of capital x of 2 and for this is for capital x of 3 we have to write it like a one stretch for capital x of k this is the problem for uh, dft we have to do the problem uh, with the example of uh, with the guidance of this uh, example and here it is some exercise problems you can uh, do the um, exercise problem as it won't and uh, check check the answer in which is uh, present in the next slide if you want to do the exercise problem means you have to derive the problem and then uh, after getting answer you can uh, check it uh, with the next slide answers here the answers of the above exercise problems you can check it and uh, these are the um, um, concepts we have to know uh, when it comes to dft and uh, uh, some example problem problem is uh, work, work, work down and then uh, some uh, exercise problems are given you have to check it out next one is idft exercise problem uh, always uh, we have uh, seen that uh, the dft is inverse process of, uh, when it comes to the uh, digital to analog conversion for, so here uh, we have to use uh, that formula for this and uh, we have capital x of k because in dft uh, we can ca convert small x of n into capital x of k uh, in terms of uh, idft we have to con uh, convert capital x of k into x of n small x of n so uh, always capital x of uh, k will be like complex factors so uh, the j terms are present like in the dft problem we have to take the given data from the given sum and we have to separate uh, each samples of uh, uh, capital x of k uh, which is nothing but capital x of 0 for the first sample capital x of 1 for the second sample and um, and so on and this is the formula for the dft here n is equal to 0 to n minus 1 here uh, there are four samples are present so capital n is equal to 4 and uh, as like as the dft problem we have to uh, take uh, k is equal to 0 in dft but uh, n is equal to 0 in idft likewise we have to substitute all the details and um, simplify it and finally we can get small x of 0 is equal to 0 and small x of 1 is equal to 1 if uh, anybody wants to do the calculation just pause the video and uh, write the uh, steps and then you can check the answers this is for uh, n is equal to 2 and this is small x of 2 is equal to value and then finally we have the samples of uh, x of n uh, which is nothing but 0 1 2 and 3 for the uh, given capital x of k so uh, in this video we uh, totally uh, uh, covered what is a dft and why we go for trans fourier transform and uh, what is known by dft and idft pair and the example problem thank you